Hello, Darren Akakihara here, coming to you from Waikiki Beach on the beautiful island of Oahu. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I make my YouTube thumbnails using Adobe Spark. Hello, teachers. Thank you once again for tuning in to Teacher Tech Tuesday. My name is Darren Nakakihara. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I make my YouTube thumbnails using Adobe Spark. So when I first started making these videos, I was just using Photoshop to make all my thumbnails. But it's time consuming. It takes forever sometimes to make those things. I'm just not that patient. You spend all this time making these videos. You make sure that your content is perfect. You upload it and then you're like, dang it, I gotta make a thumbnail for this thing. So it just adds to the list of things that you need to do. And really, I just don't have the patience for this. I was using Photoshop. But in Photoshop, you gotta take care of every single little detail. But I'm a big Adobe fan, so I got onto Spark. I've used Spark in my classroom, which uh, you'll see that you could use this thing for other applications, not just, not just your uh, YouTube thumbnails. There are some classroom um, applications as well. There is a challenge when it comes to creating student accounts. And I hear through the grapevine that they're going to address that. I can't wait for that because that's going to be awesome when my students can get on to Adobe Spark as well. Adobe Spark is just a desktop publishing program that's been kind of scaled down and streamlined so that you can use it to create your all you know all your social media thumbs and. It's just really easy to produce high quality artwork. So let's check it out right now. Okay guys, so the first thing we gotta do is head on over to Adobe Spark. We just click on the second one, Adobe Spark. You can make images as you can see, videos, web stories, and it only takes minutes. And they're not kidding when it says minutes. This is so easy to use, you're gonna love this. So Adobe Spark, click on it. You can see all the different things that you can do with this. If you scroll down a little bit farther, it tells you what you can do. Um, when it says social graphics, that's what we're gonna be working in. You can make little websites. They call them web stories here. You can animate videos and effortless, effortless creation I think is like an understatement really. Wait till you see this. Okay, so in the top right hand corner you see it says start now for free. Click on that and you can log in with your Facebook credentials or your Google Plus account or you can just sign up with your email. I already have an account so I'm going to switch on over to that. You can see here some of the uh, YouTube thumbnails that I've made with this. But like I said, the classroom implications for this web app is amazing. And you could use this with your students, especially if you have some olders that um, they can log in for themselves. The student account logins have, um, that functionality is not perfected at this point, so it's a little cumbersome when you're working with the littles but I hear they're working on an Adobe Spark classroom uh, kind of login situation so I can't wait for that because that I, I would love to have my students working in here all the time right now I just had them working off of my account and that's not a great way to be doing things trust me okay so across the top we have inspirational gallery that you can click on that and go in and look for some ideas. So they have a bunch of different ideas that you can um, you can check out. Over here we have a blog, which is uh, where you can just get support and um, read about what some other Adobe Sparkers are doing. And then on all those pages, you can see in the top right hand corner, they have this big yellow plus sign dot. That's how you begin a, um, a project. So we're gonna click on that. These are all the different types of things that you can do, post, page, or video. We're gonna do a post. And right here, this is gonna be the wording that is gonna be on your post. So mine is gonna say, um, how to make 
Okay. Now, if you look on the bottom, these are all the pre-formatted resolution image sizes that they have. This is what I'm talking about. It's so easy. If you click on more sizes, you can see YouTube thumbnail. That's the one I click. That's the one you'll click if you're doing this for that. And you hit continue. So I can make these thumbnails for my um, my videos in seconds really it's as fast as I can type the title it'll make them so by default it just adds a picture behind it and then if you look on the right hand menu you can slide up and you can change it with just the click of a mouse button you can change all these to preset thumbnails look how easy that is that amazing okay if you go up here to layout you can change how the layout's gonna look simple is just the first one that it defaults to you can click do it as a banner look at that is that amazing okay you can there's a lot of controls on here as well you can change the margin you can change the spacing you can also click on it and adjust it that way as well. All right, uh, we can resize it again if we say, "Oh, I want to do a you know Instagram post." And then do a, a one by one square box. Over here, you can cho choose the color palette that you're using with just a little click of the mouse button. Over here, the backgrounds you can change the background colors. Um, and you can change the photos so oh this one too look at this thing so you can change this the shape or the color the font that you're using the spacing between lines the alignment center right justified left justified the opacity but look at this wheel right here if you rotate this wheel around look at that is that amazing okay so what I want to do is actually go back to um, here oh you know what I need to do okay so I'm working on the video that I'm showing you right now this is how I create my thumbs all I do is go into my video right below and click click on that little little bell so that you get and no, I can't. find a Asian not is what I the least I funny face that I make <laughs> and then I just clip a screenshot out of this thing Ta -da. Go back in here, I add a photo, and it's on my desktop. Okay, so then this is how I customize this thing. I want the layout to be back to this. There's my face over here. I want to change this.
guys have a favorite font? Alright, and you should always optimize your thumbnails for... for mobile. So that's pretty good. I'll take that. Take that right there. You hit share. And then just hit download. And it downloads it into your download folder or wherever you have it download to. And that, my friends, is how you make a YouTube thumbnail using Adobe Spark in less than a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you have not already joined our Facebook, YouTube teacher community, do me a favor, click on the, on the link below and ask to join because we got some really cool teachers inside this teacher tuber community. And all we do is we talk about teacher tubing. It's really cool. So we would love to see you in there. Don't forget to hit subscribe below and click on that little bell so that you get notifications when I post videos like this. All right, thank you very much. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.